Tim Britton of the Providence Journal. Providence Journal. Would you like to remember cards? I'd like to remember some guys. God damn it, let's do it again. <laughs> let's do it again. Totally, I can't get owned right at the start of this thing. It's not. I think we should go with this 1991, because you can see the outline of the gum that is still in there. Yeah. I put some in my mouth the last time I did these, and it was like uh, some sort of drywall <laughs> that had become infected. It looks kind of like an old Neko or communion wafer, yeah. if you will. We're going to start off with a guy that I do not remember, <laughs> and he looks like he just heard that, Eric King. <laughs> Can I make up like a, a deep backstory for Eric King? Obviously, uh, you can tell a right-handed um, reliever. Yeah, uh, that uh, pitched during that weird White Sox era where they had red in their uniforms and that cursive C on top. Yep. So you can see here, Eric King. Uh, I'm now remembering him. Was actually uh, the actor William Hurt <laughs> in a method approach, uh, weirdly for the film The Doctor. All right, let's move on some guys we might remember. Mike Schooler. <laughs> uh, he's clearly going for Tommy John, because that's inverted. Yeah, this <laughs> inverted is... Inverted W. <laughs> this is like, if you wanted to use an illustration of how you're not supposed to throw a pitch in 2018. I also don't understand. We call it the inverted W. There's literally a letter that yep. is an inverted it W. Is. It, <laughs> if, only, M. if only there were a letter that was in common use. <laughs> for instance, one that you could put at the start of a name like Mike Schooler. Right. Do you think... <laughs> he ever muttered to himself after striking someone out, like, school. I <laughs> sure fucking hope so. <laughs> School's in session. <laughs> Here we have a guy to remember. Tracy Jones. <laughs> I have no memory of Tracy Jones. This is a prank. The whole this is just full of guys that aren't real guys. Uh, I was faking with Mike Schooler. I remember Tracy Jones. He's just like a fifth outfielder guy. This is him contemplating life as a fifth outfielder for yeah. like the bad Tigers team. <laughs> it's it's yeah. like I could be the fifth outfielder on like the '83 Tigers. That'd be good. <laughs> it's the face you make when Larry Herndon is ahead of you. <laughs> Here's a guy that I remember. Is that, is that like? Introductory Rafael Palmero. <laughs> Larry Sheets was a prototype of Rafael Palmero that was made in Oklahoma. He's another type of baseball player that I like in terms of like limited utility but hit a lot of dingers. He also kind of looks like the um, one of the bad guys from Superman 2. <laughs> Here's a guy to remember. Chuck Finley. Chuck yeah. Finley. What percentage of people our age remember him as a pitcher and what percentage remember him as Tawny Catane's husband? It's like a pretty even split. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the Tawny Catane thing was, was more remarkable. He was a decent pitcher and at this time in his career was actually very good. This is a year in which he had an ERA under three, won 16 games. Is he, who's the best pitcher in Angels history? Uh, Mike Witt. No, I don't know. Do I, mean, it is? I don't know. It might be. Is he the best starter in Angels history? Like Dean Chance in the 60s? Yeah, or like, I mean, how good was Nolan Ryan during his Angels years? Did, did he throw any no hitters for the Angels? He didn't throw. I don't think he threw any no hitters in his entire career. <laughs> Fuck Nolan Ryan. Chuck Finley. That's a man. Here's a guy that I bet you do remember. Oh, Todd Worrell. Yes. Uh, he had a brother, yes. Tim Worrell. That's true. Uh, was I think Todd Worrell was the pitcher in '85 when they gave up the lead against the Royals in Game Six. Uh, really got off clean with the Don Dickinger thing. Yeah. No one blamed Worrell for that. Yep. Um, but he was but, the pitcher at that time. I would say that that qualifies as remembering the shit out of Todd <laughs> Worrell. Congratulations on that, man. Do, do you think any current major leaguers know any of these guys? Like, it is, it's weird to like talk to players who covering the Red Sox who don't know the 2004 team. Oh, it's weird. Like, well, that's just, the thing with like, people that are very young. Like, it would be strange if they did with Lauren doing these. Uh, she remembered Detlef Schrempf because of she, Parks and Rec. Yes, which is so sobering. <laughs> Do you remember Don Slot? So I have Don Slot's phone number in my phone. That is a way uh, better answer and very different also so than I expected. He was a uh, backup. I remember him more as with the Pirates because mm -hmm. I think I called him because uh, he played with Tim Wakefield yep. when Tim Wakefield was with the Pirates. I think he caught uh, Tim Wakefield. He was like their knuckleball catcher. Mm -hmm. right? I didn't know that he caught Wakefield. I think that's why I, I can't imagine any other reason I would yeah. have called him. Just to, or why you would call him again, although you still <laughs> right. have his number. You ever text him like, you up? That's good. Here is a fucking awesome guy to remember. Do you recall Mike Lavalier? Uh, I remember the one play everyone remembers with mm -hmm. Mike Lavalier, the Sid Bream slide, which yep. I always thought was like the most aesthetically perfect attempt at a swipe tag. So that's that's all I know about Mike Lavalier, that uh, if Barry Bonds had played three steps in like he was supposed to, he would have had the coolest tag out at home. What's amazing history. about that too is Sid Bream was a total uggo who ran like he had a parking boot on. And Mike Lavalier, who made this beautiful attempt at a tag, looked like this. <laughs> 
His nickname was Spanky. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nolan Ryan, one of the best pitchers in Angels history. <laughs> I, feel <like> That's... <laughs> I feel like it was in there to taunt us for yeah. that earlier conversation. Yeah. Although, it's why would you make a Nolan Ryan insert with him on the Mets except to torture Mets fans? It's part of a series. Is that... Jim Fregosi like three people <laughs> down? I'm still, it's too soon for me to talk. <laughs> trade was made 10 years before I was born, and I'm still like, ugh. Fuck out of here, Nolan Ryan. And the last guy to remember is the guy that I will remember until the very end of my days, yeah. Mookie fucking Wilson. I think I have that card at home, actually. Yeah. Because, you know, I kept it because it was Mookie Wilson. First of all, this is a, actually a very good picture. Like, that's a good baseball card photo. And he was just like, he was the only dude on the 8016 that wasn't like a criminal sociopath. <laughs> right. Uh, like, with all due respect to whatever, all the criminal sociopaths uh, from that team and otherwise watching the video. But he, they traded him for Jeff Musselman. He wasn't even good. Tim, this was a difficult pack. I know, that was, this was like a, this like a, a 80 grade pack. Yeah, it was. There was it, in terms of the difficulty of remembering and then also the limited reward in remembering a lot of them. <laughs> we'll always have Mike Lavalier. We will always have this handsome Dan, and I'd like to present you with this card. Aww. So now you'll always have him with you too. Don't ever get rid of it. Thank yeah, you. No problem.